Hi, I'm Evan Dushevsky, Features Editor for PCMag.com, and this is What's New Now. Google revealed that their experimental self-driving cars have been involved in 11 minor traffic accidents over the past six years. So how bad is that? The national rate for reported property damage only crashes is about 0.3 per 100,000 miles. If we take Google at its word that its cars have driven 1.7 million miles, then that will come in around double the national average at about 0.6 per 100,000 miles. Though Google Google is quick to point out that the vast majority of these sort of minor incidences go unreported. The company released the crash data in reaction to an AP report which found that Google's self-driving mobiles have been involved in three collisions since September, and the state of California for reporting on the matters is now mandatory. Three self-driving collisions since September sounds real bad for real-world Hooli, but a larger view may be necessary. According to the AP report, of the four crashes since September, only two involved cars that were actually in self-driving mode, and they all happened at speeds of less than 10 miles per hour. According to Google, every accident occurred since the beginning of the program where minor resulted in light damages and no injuries. The company further stated that not once was a self-driving car the cause of the accident. Google claims to average around 10,000 self-driven miles a week. This, according to the company, is just a bit less than the typical American drive in an entire year. And most of these have happened on city streets. So taking all the numbers into account, Google's autonomous cars are, at the very least, comparable to human drivers. And our record isn't that great. About 33,000 people die on American roads every year. The vast majority of all these crashes are due to human error. Robot cars, on the other hand, never get sleepy, never get distracted or drunk. This tech is still in the early stages, but if I'm betting on safer roadways for the future, I'm betting on the robots. I'm Evan Dushevsky, and that's what's new now.